Hey everyone, welcome to Balance Blueprint. Today we're diving into an arm workout that's sure to push your limits. I'm starting off here at the Preacher Curl Support, executing slow and controlled double bicep curls. Aim here is to prime those biceps for maximum growth by exhausting them right out of the gate. I want to take a moment to thank all the new subscribers. Each and every one of you matters. Your comments and feedback fuel me to continue this incredible journey with you. Let me know in the comments what videos you'd like to see next. Also, I'm thrilled to announce that I'm currently developing an app. You can keep up with its progress at www.balanceblueprint.ca. It's still in the works, but I promise it's going to be worth the wait. So grab your weights and let's get those arms pumping. Slowing down your reps isn't just about control, it's a game changer for muscle growth. This technique increases the muscle's time under tension, a key factor for hypertrophy, but the benefits don't stop there. Slower reps also improve blood flow to the working muscle, delivering essential nutrients and oxygen that fuel growth and recovery. So you're not only optimizing your workout in real time, but setting the stage for ongoing gains. While focusing on our target muscles, let's not forget the bigger picture, overall posture and body alignment. Maintaining good posture isn't just for aesthetics, although it certainly improves how you look. It's essential for overall well-being and the prevention of long-term injuries. As we work on our arms today, be conscious of your entire body, engage your core, straighten your back, and be aware of your foot placement as well. And remember, there's no one-size-fits-all approach to exercise. Variation is key to preventing plateaus and it keeps your workouts exciting. The goal is constant learning and adaptation, always challenging yourself to evolve. There we go, a nice two minute set to start our exercise. Let's move on to the next one. In this next scene, you'll see me stepping up the weight to 90 pounds. This time, I'm speeding up the tempo of my curls. Faster execution targets different muscle fibers and creates a new kind of stress on the muscle, which is exactly what we want for comprehensive growth. Don't be afraid to mix things up in your workouts. Trying new techniques and variations isn't just good for your muscles, it's good for your mindset. The gym is a playground for adults, so get creative, experiment, and discover what your body can do. I'm sure you're already feeling the burn. Let's get on to the next one. In this next segment, I'm sticking with the same weight but shifting my focus towards focusing on the contraction. Every rep counts and the emphasis here is on quality over quantity. But before we go any further, let's take a moment to talk about some exciting news in the world of bodybuilding. Larry Wheels just clinched first place in his recent bodybuilding competition. He showcased an incredible physique, striking the perfect balance between leanness and muscle mass. It's fantastic to see how amazing he did, and he really set the bar high for the rest of us. So hats off to Larry Wheels, he did an amazing job. Now, let's get back to our workout. Alrighty, let's move on to the next set. In the next part, I'm gonna scale the weight down to 70 pounds to focus on form and contraction. But before we get into that, let's take a moment to discuss the importance of carbohydrates, especially in a pre-workout meal. Carbs are essential for fueling your workouts. They are converted to glycogen, which is stored in your muscles and liver. When you exercise, your body taps into glycogen for energy. Having enough glycogen can make a significant difference in your performance, allowing you to push harder and for longer. Proper carb intake pre-workout can mean better muscle endurance, more power, and even enhanced recovery post-workout. And let's not forget the pump. Consuming carbs helps in drawing water into the muscle, amplifying that much desired muscle fullness and vascularity. So if you're looking to level up your workouts, don't neglect your carbs. They not only boost performance, but they also play a crucial role in muscle growth and recovery. All right, let's get on to the next exercise. Moving on to the next exercise, seated double bicep curls using barbells. At first glance, this may look similar to the previous exercise, don't be fooled. Seated position and arm angle drastically alter the dynamics of the movement, targeting different areas of the bicep. The unique angle engages different muscle fibers, allowing us to achieve a more rounded and complete bicep development. I decided to switch to a single arm variation of this exercise. The beauty of isolating one arm at a time is that it lets you focus intensely on the contraction and extension of the specific bicep. It also allows for greater control, 
enabling me to lift heavier weights while maintaining good form. Remember, the weight you're lifting isn't the end all be all, it's just a tool to facilitate muscle growth and keep trying. So be mindful of your form and the muscle engagement throughout the movement. Let's get to it and give this single arm variation a try. All right, let's switch over to the other arm. Now, let me give you a glimpse into my thought process during the workout. I consciously broaden my shoulders and puff out my chest to maintain that ideal posture. Using a mirror can be a great asset here. It allows you to double check your form and ensure that you're square and symmetrical. But remember, working out should also be enjoyable. So keep your form tight, but don't forget to have fun and don't worry about it too much. So let's knock these sets out. Hope you're ready. Now switching back to the other arm. Let's take a moment to discuss the importance of minimizing rest periods between sets. Keeping your breaks short helps to maintain an elevated heart rate. An elevated heart rate not only gives your cardiovascular system a good workout, but also helps you burn more calories throughout your exercise session. And don't forget, this increased level of intensity can contribute to building stronger muscles as well. So try to keep those rest periods short and maintain that intensity for a more effective workout. It's essential to remember that our heart is like the engine of our body. So just like any other muscle, it needs a good workout to stay strong and efficient. Don't forget how important it is to constantly work it out. By the way, I want to thank you all for being here and your continued support. It truly means the world to me. If you find value in these workouts and discussions, please like, subscribe, and share this video. Your feedback is important, so leave a comment below with any questions or topics you'd like to see me cover. Now, I want to share a little secret with you. As you can see, I'm chewing gum while doing the bicep curls. You might be wondering, what's gum got to do with a secret? Well, believe it or not, chewing gum, especially during workouts, helps build your cheek muscles. This can contribute to a more chiseled, model-like facial structure. It's an unconventional tip, but it's those little details that can make all the difference in your journey to a better you. And that's what I'm looking for. As I continue with the bicep curls, you'll notice I'm not limiting myself to a specific number of reps or sets. The goal here is to push my muscles to their limits. I want to feel that burning sensation, almost as if my muscles are crying out. That's when you know you're gonna get that skin splitting pump. Now, it's important to note that I've been lifting for a while, so I have a good sense of my body's capabilities. Remember, it's not a competition, it's about daily progress. Each step you take, no matter how small, adds up over time to create significant change. So have fun and enjoy every step of the way. As we're deep into this workout, you might notice my form starting to break down a bit. That's my cue to lower the weight. It's crucial to listen to your body and make necessary adjustments. The weight in your hand is just a number. What truly matters is how well you're executing each movement. So what about you? Do you pay close attention to your form during extended sets? Let me know in the comments below. Switching gears, we're moving on to the double bicep curl. You'll notice I'm lifting about half the weight I started with. My biceps are definitely feeling it by now. But guess what? It's not a signal to slow down, it's a challenge to push yourself even further. If you're serious about fast tracking your gains, don't put off until tomorrow what you can lift today. Let's keep this momentum going and push yourself as hard as you can. As I continue with these double bicep curls, you'll notice I make a concentrated effort to keep my back straight and my shoulders square. This isn't just for form, it's also about aesthetics and function. Good posture engages even those muscles deep within your core that you might not ever see, but make a world of a difference to your overall look. It might be more challenging to maintain this posture and you might not be able to lift as much, but take the time to develop these foundational muscles. Trust me, the rewards are more than worth the effort. Working on your core, posture, and overall body symmetry is like making a long-term investment in yourself. Good posture goes beyond just looking good. It improves blood circulation and even enhances nerve function. When you sit or stand up straight, your lungs can expand more providing increased oxygen levels that are essential for muscle growth and overall well-being. The rewards are manifold and can improve multiple aspects of your life, from physical health to mental clarity 
and even how beautiful your body appears. All right, let's move on to the triceps. I'm sure your biceps are done now. As we transition into working our triceps, we're going to kick things off with a seated single arm overhead tricep extension. The focus here is on getting a good stretch and utilizing a full range of motion. So how do we perform this exercise correctly? Start by sitting down on a bench with your back straight. Hold the dumbbell in one hand and fully extend your arm overhead. Now bend your elbow to lower the dumbbell behind your head. Make sure you're really stretching your arm and your shoulder. The aim here is to get your elbow as close to your head as you can without straining. Slowly extend your arm back to the starting position to complete the rep. The key here is to control the range of motion so you don't rush through it. Keep an eye on the mirror to really see when your tricep is fully engaged. You want to keep the weight within this range to maximize effectiveness. But a word of caution, your shoulder is in a somewhat compromised position in this exercise. Overlifting could easily result in a dislocated shoulder, especially if you're pushing your limits. So start off with a lighter weight and gradually work your way up. Safety first, as always. In this next part, you'll see that I'm not really counting reps. Instead, I'm focusing on the burn in my muscles, the quality on my form, and maintaining a balance, both in my body and my mind. Having a positive mindset is crucial, especially for getting through these long, intense workouts. It's about pushing through barriers while staying connected with your body and environment. Continuing with the same exercise, let's talk about the importance of preparation. The price of progress is being prepared. That means eating right, having the right attire and shoes, and making sure you've warmed up properly. Don't forget the little things either, like towels for sweat, or even a headband like I'm wearing. These tools not only keep you comfortable, but also help you power through workouts in the best way possible. Always be prepared. It sets the stage for a successful workout. I just want to take a moment to pause and thank you all for inviting me into your lives. I'm truly honored to have the opportunity to influence and hopefully inspire you on your path to success. I find immense value in spreading love and happiness and helping others reach their full potential. If you're committed to this journey just as much as I am, please show some love. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Together, we can make this transformative. In this next segment, you'll see me get a bit creative with how I perform this exercise. Notice how I'm ensuring my shoulders are spread and I lower my scapula, emphasizing that V taper we all desire. Not only does this technique build strength in the shoulders, but it also allows for more effective engagement of the triceps. This angle demands a greater range of motion from the muscle, giving you more bang for your buck in each rep. Try it out and let me know what you think. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Shout out to the gym where all this magic happens. LA Fitness at Bathurst and Rutherford. If you're in the Toronto area, I highly recommend you check it out. The energy here is fantastic. Lots of great physiques to learn from and everyone is incredibly positive and welcoming. If any of you are watching from Bathurst and Rutherford, you guys are the best. You make each gym session, not just a workout, but truly an enjoyable experience. Thank you so much. All right, let's switch it up a bit and move on to a new exercise. In the next segment, I'll be moving on to the bent over tricep extensions. Now, I'm going to be my own critique for a moment. If you look closely, you'll see that I'm not holding my frame as well as I should be. One shoulder is higher than the other, and it's good practice to keep looking forward as you're lifting the weights. These are points I'll personally be working on for improvement. So for those of you who are new to this exercise or you want to perfect your form, here's how to properly execute a bent over tricep extension. First, hinge at the hips and maintain a slight bend at the knees. Keep your back straight, your core engaged, and your head aligned with your spine. Extend your arms straight back, focusing on isolating the tricep muscle. Be mindful to keep your shoulders level and your gaze forward to maintain optimal form. I decided to superset the bent over tricep extension with a seated double arm tricep extension. It's essential to work your triceps from different angles, especially because the tricep is actually composed 
of three muscles and makes up a significant portion of your upper arm, about one third larger than your bicep. By incorporating a variety of exercises that target different angles, you're ensuring that you're providing your muscles with a comprehensive workout. Supersetting is not only effective for muscle growth, but also incredible for bringing out vascularity and striations in the muscles. If you're chasing that granite-like strided look, then supersets and giant sets should be your go-to methods. So what exactly is a giant set? Well, think of it as combining an entire workout into a single set. For instance, you could do one set of double bicep curls followed immediately by a set of bent over tricep extensions, then another set of preacher curls, and finish with a seated double tricep extension, all back to back with no rest in between. This approach is intense and can be a bit challenging when the gym is crowded, but if you can set up a circuit, it's one of the fastest ways to build up those arms. Try it out, your arms are gonna cry, trust me. Supplementation is another key element in my fitness routine. During my workouts, I opt for BioSteel to replenish electrolytes and keep me hydrated. It's crucial to maintain fluid balance while you're pushing yourself to your limits. I also always have a protein shake on hand to fuel my muscles right after the workout, maximizing that post-exercise anabolic window. Currently, I'm also using creatine and I'm always taking a pre-workout to elevate my training. If you're curious about my supplement stack and want to know more, drop a comment below. And hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Your support helps me creating valuable content. As you can see here, I got a big smile on my face. Thanks to everyone at the gym and enjoying my workout. I really had a lot of fun and you better be having fun in the gym too. All right, let's move on to one of my favorite exercises, skull crushers, a classic tricep annihilator. This exercise primarily targets the long head of the tricep, but trust me, your entire tricep is going to feel this one. Now let's talk about form. Start by lying flat on the bench, gripping an easy bar or a straight barbell above your chest, arms fully extended. Keep your grip shoulder width apart, slowly lower the bar towards your forehead, hence the name skull crushers. Make sure to only move your forearms. Keep your upper arms and your shoulders stationary. This isolates the tricep more effectively. Now as you lower the bar, try to get a good stretch in the tricep by allowing your arm to go slightly beyond perpendicular to the floor. Control the weight, don't let it control you. Once the bar is close to your forehead, push the weight back up to the starting position. Fully extend your arms and squeezing those triceps at the top. Don't just rely on momentum make those triceps work. The key here is to perform each rep with meticulous form. After all the free weight exercises we've done, the machine helps to isolate the biceps in a controlled manner, allowing for meticulous focus on the contraction at the peak of each curl. It's an excellent way to ensure that we've thoroughly exhausted every last fiber of the bicep. At this stage of the workout, it's not just about how much you can lift. It's about how well you can engage the muscle, ensuring optimal fiber breakdown for maximum growth potential. Finishing up our exhaustive arm day, we're using the cable tricep extension. And here's where I really want to emphasize the importance of form. I often see people hunched over while performing this exercise, using their body weight to leverage the move more than isolating the triceps. Your posture here is crucial. Keep your back straight, head up, chest out, and focus solely on engaging your triceps to extend the weight. If you find yourself hunching or using your shoulders, reduce the weight. This isn't a shoulder exercise, it's a tricep extension, and your triceps should be doing all the lifting. All right, everyone, that wraps up our arm workout. Thank you so much for watching and being part of this fitness journey with me. If you found value in this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Remember, I'm always rooting for you.